We found some awesome Class C RVs that are under 30 feet long. Big enough for a family to camp in, small enough to drive. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hi, everybody. Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. And today, we're going to be doing some walkthroughs of Class C RVs that are under 30 feet. 30 feet seems to be a really great size because it's small enough to be maneuverable and large enough to sleep a large family or a large group of people. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube and you're back, welcome back to the channel. We sure are glad to have you here. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, we make tons of YouTube videos all about RVing. And we also have a website called rvblogger.com that you might want to check out because we have hundreds and hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have a Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies. You're invited to join. We hope to see you in there. And it's just a great place to meet fellow RVers, ask questions, and learn even more about RVing. Today, though, we're going to focus in on our walk walkthroughs on some awesome Class C RVs that are under 30 feet long. So let's get started right now. This Class C RV is the Coachman Crosstrek 27XG model. It's 29 feet 6 inches long and it has some very, very different features, especially in the back end of the RV that you'll see in just a minute. But starting from the front of this RV, it's built on a Ford E350 chassis, so pretty regular configuration as far as that goes. There's a million Class C's built on this chassis. Up top, there's a nice bunk area that two people could squeeze in up here. Definitely one would make it, though, more comfortably. If you had two kids, they could squeeze up there. There's also a TV mount above, and that can be seen from laying in bed or from the couch across from it here. And this jackknifes into another bed where someone could sleep. Another nice thing about this couch is instead of having... Uh, cabinets above they put this really big window here so it really makes it feel nice and bright and airy and big in here right across from the couch we have a four-seater dinette which also converts into a bed where someone else can sleep and then above that you have this long line of storage cabinets so lots and lots of storage up here and uh, really makes for a nice feel keeping all the storage cabinets on one side of the RV so here we are in the kitchen area right behind the dinette, and you'll see that this is like an L-shaped kitchen. It's got an additional cabinet extension, or countertop extension, I'm sorry. Also has a very large single bowl sink with a big gooseneck faucet. Around the corner here, it has a two-burner stove rather than a three, but that's okay. And then down below, there's plenty of storage as well. Up top, there's also a microwave oven. And then on the other side of the kitchen, we have a decent sized refrigerator and separate freezer as well. All right, so I'm in the shower here and this is another neat feature about this Class C RV. The shower is by itself on one side of the hallway and then the commode and the vanity are on the other side of the hallway. Nice thing about this is somebody can be taking a shower and someone else can be using the bathroom at the same time. The shower here is a pretty good size. It's about three feet wide by almost two feet deep. Good, good decent headroom over top of me in the skylight. So there's probably eight inches over my head and I'm five feet, 11 inches tall. So another really clever feature in this RV is the door that comes into the bathroom. And this door closes just enough but then it hits and this creates privacy so if you're in your bathroom taking a shower it connects to your bedroom area and it creates a little privacy between the front half of the rv and the bedroom and bathroom back here in the in the vanity itself or vanity area bathroom area commode plenty of storage they have another corner cabinet here as well and then a good size vanity with cabinet or countertop space and storage down below so here I am in the master bedroom, and this is the most unusual part of the design in this Class C RV. The cross tracks are known for having a very, very large storage area under the master bedroom bed, and this one does as well. And you can see the bed is super high compared to me, and then it has little steps on each side that you can climb up to get into your bed. Down below here, it also has a wardrobe closet, so kind of a neat design. 
Um, when you climb up into bed though, the really unusual thing is it doesn't really have a mattress. It just sort of has these sort of cushions that you would sleep on. So for me, I would prefer to put a mattress up here and be more comfortable. So as you can see, we're underneath of the bed that we were just in in the bedroom and the Coachman Cross Treks have this immense amount of storage space in here. Some people like it because they can put their mountain bike in here, store a kayak. I mean, all kinds of stuff could fit in here. All right, this Class C RV is the Jayco Redhawk 24B, and it's about 26 feet, eight inches long. So it's not really that big of an RV, but it's big enough that it feels good inside, and it's small enough that you can still drive it very, very easily. Now, when you first walk in, you walk into this very spacious area where you have your kitchen and also your eating or reclining area right across. Now, the kitchen area, I think, is really nice. It's got a double bowl sink, plenty of countertop space. We have storage above, uh, nice cabinetry. I mean, I really like these dark cabinets and plenty of space down below for storage as well. And then you have your oven, your range, and then of course your microwave. I've seen a lot of microwaves these days that are starting to get smaller and smaller for some reason. I like, you know, maybe you don't need that much space in your microwave, um, but I'm, I guess I keep comparing it to what we have at home. I don't know. Anyway, once you come over here, you have a refrigerator with a separate freezer which is fantastic. And it's a good size fridge as well. And uh, I also like the fact that they have the cabinet panels on the front of the refrigerator. So it just looks like it's all built in and meant to be there. Now, one other thing to note up in this area is that normally the way the 24B comes, this area would be a U-shaped dinette with a table in the middle, but they opted to put in the movie theater seating instead um, and when you do that, there's really no dinette table, but you have these little tables. So I guess you would sit down, use this as your table, and then put your drink in your drink cup. Not really sure. But one flaw that I find in here is that they have the TV location right here, which would be sort of behind your head if you're sitting in your movie theater seating. And I would imagine what you would do is sit here and then watch this TV up over the bunk because you'd be able to see that much better. I would probably take that big TV and put it up here and then take this small TV and put it in the back so you can see it from bed, from your bed. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But also up front, I did want to point out that you have the over cab uh, area, which can be used for storage or two people can sleep up here very, very easily. So Susan and I just swap spots. And one of the things that you'll notice is right behind TV, you've got this big wardrobe closet or it's super deep. It's like three feet deep. It's got these nice drawers that slide out. So you have plenty of storage in here, additional drawer st space down below. And then your bed also has additional storage as well. Since this one doesn't have a uh, cover on it. It's real easy to see, but they have this little storage space under the bed as well. So that's pretty cool. And one thing I do want to point out is that from the queen size bed all the way to the movie seating up front, this whole side of the RV slides out. So it really makes it feel nice and big in here. At the back end here, you have a really good size wardrobe closet, two big doors, uh, pole up top so you can hang things, plenty of drawers. They don't go back very deep, maybe about 16 inches or so, but they're nice and deep, so there's plenty of storage in there. And then finally, we make our way around to the bathroom and we'll head in there next. So here I am in the bathroom. It's a rectangular bathroom, uh, not bad size. Um, one thing to note, it is, gosh, about a full 12 inches step up into the shower. So uh, if you have trouble with steps, this might not be a real great solution for you. But anyway, uh, I have decent amount of headroom in here. I'm 5'11". I would say with the skylight, you could be pretty tall in here. Um, but the regular ceiling height, you know, you'd probably have to be 6'3 or shorter or you'd hit your head on the ceiling. 
Um, I do like the shower door. I like the ones that have the track on the top and the bottom, and then that way it holds the curtain in place so it doesn't blow in or out on you. Keeps all the water in the shower. You know, I think that's a pretty nice feature. And then, of course, there's a medicine cabinet here. Oh, good, it does open up far enough. And then a vanity below that with storage as well. This Class C RV is the Integra Esteem 27U model. It's 29 feet. 11 inches long, but it feels much, much bigger in here. One of the reasons for that is because this whole entire side just slides right on out. Starting at the front of this RV though, you'll notice the driver's cab has two captain's chairs that both swivel around so you can sit here and enjoy your family sitting behind you and the rest of the RV. Above, there's a large bunk that two people could easily sleep up here. Right now the shade is closed, but there's also a nice big window over top, which we think is really, really fantastic. There's also a large TV mount off to the side, so you could be in your bunk watching TV, or you could use this TV to view from the couch location as well. Moving back in the RV, we come to the dinette area. This is a very large dinette that can easily seat four people. This also converts into another bed that one person could sleep pretty comfortably. Across from the dinette, we have a jackknife sofa where one more person could sleep. Of course, there's storage above, and we really like the look of this cabinetry in here as well. And this rolls right into the kitchen area. The kitchen in this model is a nice L-shaped kitchen. You have a big double bowl sink. There's actually a countertop extension here as well. And you also have some countertop space here. There's also a three burner range oven down below and then a large microwave oven up above. This is like the same size that you would have at home. There's lots and lots of storage space in here as well. There's also drawers and more storage space down below. Now, right across from this part of the kitchen is where your refrigerator is located. One nice thing here is it's a side-by-side -side refrigerator, which really opens up nice and big inside. And you have a side-by-side -side freezer as well. Here we are in the back of this Class C RV and in the master bedroom. It features a large king-size bed. Each side of the bed has a little nightstand on it. Also above, there's plenty of storage up there. And then there's reading lights mounted underneath of that cabinetry. Right behind me here is some very nice closet space with adjustable shelving. And also there are drawers down below. And then on this wall is where you would mount your TV. This huge master bedroom also features a very large wardrobe closet and extra big drawers below as well. I'm in the bathroom, which is just outside the master bedroom. And as you can see, I'm standing in the shower. I've got about, gosh, a good eight inches over my head in height. I'm 5'11", so there's plenty of headroom in here. Love the glass doors that come across. Just gives it a nice, luxurious feel. Has a great medicine cabinet also a vanity with plenty of storage space down below that. This Class C RV is the Jayco Greyhawk 27U and it is 29 feet 10 inches long. It sleeps up to five people. But I gotta tell you, when you first walk into this RV, it feels like it's 35, 36 feet long. It's tremendously huge in here. Starting from the front of this RV, there's a really large bunk over top of the cab where two people can easily sleep up here. You can put a TV on one end of the bunk and it has a side window on the other end of the bunk, which is really nice if you wanna get a cross breeze through here. Moving back into the RV from there, we have a dinette that can easily seat four people. This also converts into a bed where one person could sleep. Across from the dinette, there are a couple of uh, recliners that are very very comfortable and you could sit here and actually see the tv that's on the bunks over top so it's pretty good spot for your movie se movie theater style seating to be located just behind the dinette there's an l-shaped style kitchen that's back here it's got a nice double bowl sink it's got a decent amount of countertop space but it also has an extension in case you need a little more it's got a three burner stove oven down below and then there are also drawers below the sink and the oven for additional storage above you have your microwave storage above that 
and then even more storage cabinetry over here. Right across from the kitchen is where you'll find your refrigerator with a separate freezer, very, very good size. And I really like the fact that they put the cabinet doors on the front of the refrigerator. It just pulls the whole kitchen together and just makes this area feel like it's just one kitchen area. Next to this, we have some pantry shelving above and down below. Okay, the master bedroom is really a pretty good size. It has a king size bed in it, which is fabulous. There's a little nightstand on each side as well. Over top, you have additional storage with some reading lights mounted underneath. Along the back of the bedroom, there's some really large storage cabinets back here, and they both have very, very deep drawers underneath. Along this wall, is where you would mount your TV. And then finally, there's a wardrobe closet with a mirror and then two really deep drawers down below. All right, the owner's bathroom is a pretty good size. Got about a three foot shower in here. I like the shower door setup. Just makes it seem so much more luxurious and upscale. Just outside of the shower, you have a medicine cabinet, vanity with storage down below, plenty of room inside this nice size bathroom. Let us know which one of these Class C RVs is your favorite in the comments down below. We hope you've enjoyed checking them out in our video. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of the boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do. And remember to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we release a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.